So I'm doing a real quick water change. Not necessarily for the, that the pond needed it, but my plants needed it desperately. And I figure Yertle could always use some fresh water. So what I do is I just take the waterfall out from the back and bring it out front. These plants were about to die, so I don't usually water plants in the middle of the day. I don't think I can, uh, I gotta go grab the hose. Okay, now I got the hose. It's not really turned on yet. I got to make sure that this pump is clear because I put the pump in a floating basket. See that? I keep it in a floating basket so it never gets to the bottom so it's easy to clean out. It's always floating near the surface. But I think I'm going to need to trim back some of that mint. So I can feel the water is starting. I can hear the water starting to... Constantly pulling out these mint leaves. I'm gonna get let it go a little deeper. Um, I wish I had my sea shears. I don't have to walk in and out. Uh, I'm gonna need shears or scissors. Well, this is. I'm gonna sit on this wet rock for a little bit. See if I can sit and talk to you. So I really would love to make what now is a waterfall. It's just a hose coming through to rock and back in just to circulate the water. I would love to have that hose coming on top of one of these beautiful white rock and flowing down to another one and flowing into the water. So I think what I might do is build back here like a bit of a waterfall. Just, some, just maybe one rock high, two rock high, but just to see the water hit the white rock onto the, I think would look beautiful. Now, do I think I'm gonna do it today? No, because it's already 100 degrees. I'm hot as, whoops. And that's the only reason I'm out here is all these plants were folded in half, dying. Uh, I should have got up at five o'clock this morning and watered all of them, but it's Sunday morning and I slept in, so my bad. But we're fixing it now, and Yertle gets a fresh, clean tub of water. And I know doing a 90% water change will get most of the green out, but that's what I did last time. And the green water came back a lot quicker. Now, trust me, the, the turtle, the koi, and the frogs love the green water. It's just now that I have a little bit of a waterfall, I would like not to see green water spewing back into the pond. So I guess it's just for aesthetics. And I think Yertle is going to love this. Take a nice big white flat rock there. With a couple smaller ones on top. But that's going to mean rearranging all of this. And I think it's filling in quite nicely. So maybe that's a project for next year. All right, so it is filling up now. All the impatience have perked up. You see what I mean though back there? A nice flat white rock it built up a little rock skate with the waterfall pouring off, I think would be gorgeous. You just have to work on it. Behind those mints is a rose bush. A little butterfly bush. So maybe over here where there's tiger tiger lilies and those uh, mints, I'll build it back in that corner. That would be nice. That would be nice. Although the mailman will see it better from there, so. Maybe I'll make it nice for the mailman and visitors to come. Why do I have this board across here? That's a very good question. At first I thought, so Yertle could step on it to get out, but she doesn't step that high. She's awfully big. So now I use it to rest her floaty thing on, and that she can step on, walk up, and get out. So let me put that back where it belongs. I'll show you what I mean. There's a small spot on the pond that I don't have any rock. here. Oh. This here 
and then I'll put the floaty thing as it gets closer to the top here so she can get out. And she does. She basks anywhere she wants. Once she's out, this is turtle safe. So she can go anywhere in this. I guess it's a 15 by 10 foot enclosure. With a, I believe this is a 400 gallon pond because it's two foot deep. It was hard to find one that wasn't 18 inches deep, let me tell you. But I'll find out how many gallons it is, or I'll just measure and figure it out. Let's take a look at this other pond. While I'm out here, I'll probably, yeah, it's got some to heat. The water levels go down a little bit. Let's go inside. This one has a makeshift gate, not a real gate, because I didn't want to spend the money on a gate. For this pond, that's not really keeping in any animals. Got a couple guppies here. I saw a rummy nose up here on guppies. Somebody gave me some fish. Lynn did. Thank you, Lynn. They're all up here. It's hard to see. Well, because they're up here and they could flow over, they could be in here. So I'll just say they're live bears. But the one that I scooped out was definitely a rummy nose. There it is. I do see there's water spots here, which tells me this water is dripping, and it could be because of the plants. I just like the way it looks, so. And I think over here, oh, there's a frog. Almost stepped on him. He jumped. He's out the safety, safety, safety. Good. See him? Buddy. He's got lily pads in here to, to float on if he wants to. It's alright, buddy. I'll do that so he can see the lily pads. Because sometimes they float into it. There we go. So if he got on a lily pad, he could absolutely get out if he wanted to. Uh, not a lily pad, a hyacinth pad. So as I was saying over here, that you can see the spillway so I want to put a bigger flower there maybe the vincas will grow in but before I put the hose away I'm definitely gonna fill these two up look at that cute little frog did you want to get out buddy I know you can get out if you want to but he doesn't want to because I'm standing here I'm even big. so when I put water in this one I'll just put it in over the fence I won't have to open the fence I'll let the frog do what he wants to do. But this one I built just be for symmetrics. Just because I had the turtle enclosure over here. Oh. It does take a long time to fill up. Look at that. But it's filling. And there's your turtle. Disappeared. It's like he knew I zoomed in on him. Almost done. I would love to put floating, floating flowers and plants in here, but this turtle, the red ear slider, just devours everything. Look at that. Look at that.
Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.